Okay, so you're first going to start by logging into PowerSchool. Obviously, um, you'll have your, your file ready. Um, make sure you save the file you're looking to import as a .csv file because that's how we're going to set it up. Um, <clears throat> once that's ready, you would go to import and export, importing and exporting, excuse me, and then you would go to quick import. So like you said, for the table, we're going to select students, field delimiter, we're going to change that to other, and type in comma, since we're using a comma separated variable file. Um, you don't have to change the character set, but you want to select choose file to import. So I made a, a fake one, not a fake one, but a test one here, students import.csv. I'm going to open it, and then I'm going to hit import. Now, right here, if your fields are matched correctly, PowerSchool is going to recognize your field and make their suggestion here. You could change it here, but if it's if it's in here correctly, I would leave it. Now, sometimes the fields that you use aren't able to be matched for whatever reason, um, but if it's not matching up, I would just make sure that you have the correct field and it's spelled exactly the same. Um, once this looks good, I'm going to check off click to exclude the first row because that takes out the headers, all the headers that are in your file. Now down here is relatively important under the advanced import options. So typically throughout the year, I import and export stuff out of PowerSchool like a lot. So I always select update the student's record with information from the file being imported. Um, so when I'm exporting, I always export the student underscore ID because that's what that's the primary key for the whole database. That's the one field you need for everything. So when I'm looking to update a student and existing student's records, you got to have that student ID and then every other field will just import what's already in PowerSchool. For this purpose, since these are new students, you want to have if the file being imported contains a student number that matches we want to make sure that it does not process that line from being imported because if if the list that you have matches a student number that's in the system already that would overwrite that student that's already in the system so that would mean that your list has is using a student number or student id that's already in use so you don't want to do that because otherwise you're going to overwrite everything about that student that's in in power school already so make sure this is checked. Now this, we don't have to worry about if the file, because you have your own numbers in already. And the only other thing that you're gonna to have to check here is allow update of enroll status. So since we're setting the enroll status to negative one as we're pre-registered, um, we have to do that. Typically when I'm doing my normal ins and outs, I'm not uploading pre-registered students. So I don't have to do that. So you have to make sure you check that one. And then, um, and then you would hit submit, um, and that would be it. But I'll, I'll do another test one, maybe with hitting submit, uh, so you can see what that looks like when it's done, okay? Thanks.